welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I have a haul for you guys. Uh, I have many boxes in front of me. So let me just begin with the first product right here that I'm actually wearing on my lips. Uh, this is my first beauty product from Burberry or Burberry. Uh, the name is Oxblood. Number is 437. I... I'm not 100% sure about this color on me because I've never tried anything like this dark. So the package looks like so. It says Burberry right there and it opens up magnetic um, just like NARS. So when you have that, there you see the tube. The color is exactly the same. Can you guys see that? So. Please let me know what you guys think of the color. It's kind of strange to me because it's too dark. Uh, I'm not used to that. So that's the first product I got. And the second one that I want to share with you guys. All of these, I didn't get them at once. So these are not unboxing, you know. I've been using them, things like that. So here is um, our mess. You guys all know I am obsessed with Hermes bracelets and but this is not click so don't worry I didn't get another click clack. Uh, so I purchased it online and I had to exchange the size because it just didn't work. So here is the box. Can you see that? Uh, I don't know why they sent me this type of box but it was like this when I got it and I was like really you know. Um, yeah, I wish they just sent me the one that doesn't have any, you know, like peeling like that. So yeah, here is the ribbon. As I said, I already opened it up and there is the little booklet. And let me just show you guys the item number and things first. Because I always tend to forget and I get lots of questions. So here is the name and the code number for it. Revel or Revel double tour bracelet in the color Kasak red Epsom calf skin this is a size small and that's the code number exact code number for it so I got the size extra small first because when I measured that you know the size that they had it was uh, like one inch I think it was longer on the website and when I got it it was short uh, but it did fit on me the extra small but it was too tight when I wanted to really you know move around so when you have it on extra small was like this but this one is being small it goes down like this area but I won't show that since I have more to show you guys in this video so it looks like so and it's so so gorgeous you guys all know that I'm obsessed with the color red uh, lately even more than pink so yeah I've been loving my red right here click like uh, red with the gold I wanted to get red with silver exactly same one the narrow H click right there since I love it so much but I'm like always like that like I have like black white red all different you know silver and gold silver and gold and i was like i shouldn't do that uh so i wanted to go with something different but from hermes so i went with this bracelet and i am really really happy with it i love palladium uh hardware right here together it's so so shiny and very very easy to put it on and off so that was the Hermes purchase and here I got online shopping um, Valentino if you guys follow me Instagram uh, you guys know already what it is because I wore them once and I put I posted a picture of my outfit of the day picture you guys know that but anyways here is the dust bag that came with and it's really really strong like thick dust bag that I really like it's all solid red and here it says Valentino right down here with the tag on and here is the booklet that came with and here is the studs you guys all now know <laughs> what it is and here they are uh, how pretty is that 
again red right but actually it only kind of shows the red on the front part right there unless you go turn around but it's just picking up a little bit right here so uh, it really go I mean they go really well with so many different outfits I actually when I was purchasing this I kind of hesitant and thought maybe it's too much you know but I already have the Valentino Rockstats flat uh, in two different colors that are neutral so I wanted to go with this uh, pop of color and to me now red is like neutral uh, another neutral color after having a few handbags that are in red I kind of now kind of figured it out you know how to just match and things like that anyways so these I purchased at Rue La La, uh, that's the website actually I got introduced by Coca Robin. Hi girl, thank you so much for uh, mentioning that or you know like share that website with us on your YouTube channel. Uh, so she shared that channel, I mean not the channel, website a uh, long time ago I think when she got her keep ball, uh, Louis Vuitton keep ball from that website. That website is really 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 great I think because I got to save over $100 on these flats. Normally they don't go on sale like you know, Marcus, uh, Sex Fifth, Nordstrom, they always have just you know right price and they're expensive so I wasn't really thinking seriously to really go for these but when I saw that website Rulala having sale and they have so many different kind at that time and they were sold out like instantly like every time I click on it I'm like oh they're gone they're gone you know so they had many different types of um, the handbags also Valentino and they do have Fendi like you know like anyways sorry guys I'm talking a lot but I will leave the uh, the exact name of the website down below so you guys can check them out and I absolutely love these this is the different style uh, flats and I kind of thought that it would be too much work to put my feet on um, but it's not when I got it there is the elastic right here let me see elastic part right here it kind of stretch out so you don't have to actually unbuckle this one so only the part that you need to work on is on here because I'm a mom and I like to go out really quick and put things you know without any fuss around you know so anyways this is the the new flats that I got and here I actually posted a video since I got um, a few requests to do so this is the envelope that they sent me with the, the refill for 2016 Louis Vuitton agenda I already posted a video on this item I'll leave that link down below let me show you guys this is my agenda right here size mm the refill looks like so just kind of plain but yeah I went through every kind of almost like every page of it in that video so you guys can check that out and here is I I've had this for about two weeks I think already or longer than that but I wanted to show you guys and you guys can tell what it is it's a shawl and um, I wanted to I didn't want to show you guys with the snags because you guys all know that they snag a lot easily so here is the one so I didn't wear this uh, so it's brand new can you see that it's so shiny it is uh, just solid it's the monogram shawl in the color noir the black this color and in this print I mean the monogram oh, I think I will snag with this thing uh, anyways sorry uh, so this I, this is the one that I actually really really wanted to get before I got my first Louis Vuitton shawl which was the denim shawl in black which I still have and I absolutely love it but when I saw the denim black I instantly fell in love with this so I went with it instead of this but I always wanted to have just solid black that is very understated that it doesn't really show Louis Vuitton but when you turn there is a shine uh, right there I really like that kind of look like understated but when you really know you really know what it is so let me 
show you guys quickly. There's no snag at all. My uh, my lovely essay, Julini. She looked every inch, every part of it. Let me stand up to show you guys. So here is giant, giant shawl. How gorgeous. Can you see a little bit at least like Louis Vuitton or yeah I think you can see right there it's just so so great it's lightweight as you guys all may know already I love Louis Vuitton shawl so when I have this normally I fold this way I think I just snagged it <laughs> so it's just black <laughs> look at me Looks so funny with this dark lipstick with the black on the top of my uh, Burberry shawl. So here it is. Uh, it won't be this poofy, but you guys can kind of see how it looks on me. And that's, yeah, love it. Love it so much. It's very basic. I love black. You guys know that. And it looks very very chic when you have just even just black top with this on like poofiness on the front I love that look anyways finally got that uh, so then okay this this purchase uh, kind of unexpected but purchased happened the one that I'm gonna show you guys here is I got this and here another Louis Vuitton thing right here I'm gonna show you very soon uh, I got them last weekend uh, in Tampa we got to go there for the conference that we had to attend so uh, our family went there and I had um, half a day uh, just I had time to shop so we went to the mall uh, it's gorgeous gorgeous big big mall that they have uh, international plaza i think so we went there and i didn't really expect anything but i was just looking for i just wanted to see uh the brooch that they have a uh, cc logo one so i went into new marcus and you know in that mall went to see it and i found this pair of earrings that i know another pair of earrings i have this uh big size classic cc crystal earrings right now and this one let me show you guys actually I wore this that day so here let me show you the this thing right there you can see the price and the tag I mean the code number everything right there you can see it's a silver pearly pearly white it says so that's that and the package looks like so like regular chanel earring package and there's nothing <laughs> because i wore them and i took them off of it so here they are let me see if i can show closely uh right there how cute are they i was planning on getting the the pearl uh the earrings from dior that b rachel high girl and rachiella uh they both have that earring and i do have the similar one that's actually looks really really same but i got them from bubble bar with 15 dollars or something like that and that has been kept loose you know like it's just not well made of course so uh, but I love the look of it so I was gonna go for that but they didn't have Dior store I don't know why I cannot find any Dior store but so I didn't get to go to Dior and just checking out Chanel and I found this and I that remind me of the Dior uh, pearl neck I mean earrings but I, I I'm not sure if I still will go for the Dior if I find them but these are so cute can you see that that's like crystals right here CC logo they are extra sparkly I mean this is more sparkly than what I have right here I think uh, when I compare them I don't know why but they are very very sparkly so even though they are very small and I really love that pearl being oversized let me show you guys quickly I hope it can be quick but I will take that off and show you how the pearl looks 
on me because they are oversized. I compare with another earring that they had in the store and that logo was very big like CC big logo and the pearl was small and this pearl being oversized I think it's really really cute when it dangles like that and you cannot really see the CC logo that much since I have a lot of hair <laughs> but uh, when you just you know picking through I love that oversized look with the little CC on the top it's very very cute I'll leave it like that uh, in this video I hope you guys don't mind it here is very very unexpected uh, purchase you guys all know you can tell it is a handbag I already opened it I already used it yesterday and I was absolutely happy with it uh, there's a long story to talk about but it's already 15 minutes now here so I have to rush and talk about uh, the important things so I went to Louis Vuitton store to check out keep ball you guys know if you guys follow me on Instagram again you guys know already I posted a picture to ask you guys for the advice and recommendation for the keep ball and so I you know that keep ball has been on my wish list forever and ever so I felt like it's the time to get it and I went in and I tried it on I was quite not sure how much things will fit in there because I don't have anything to put in it and so forth so I didn't get it and then I wasn't gonna get anything I didn't have any plan on getting anything there and I went to Chanel and you know other places to try things on and then I went back to uh, Louis Vuitton store to see the Alma uh, in the Damier bin or Epi color since I sold my Alma BB you guys may already know uh, that is another story to talk about but the reason if you guys are wondering I uh, want to know right now is the patent leather uh, I talked about Chanel mini also I just I love 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 patent leather love it so much but I really don't wear it and I just love to look at it but I really don't care I mean take it out with me so I figured that I'm not gonna use the Alma BB after I got that back bag I have never used it even once for four months or five months having it I just felt like it's no point of having it but I love the bag so I sold it to get the epi leather or damier bin since they're durable and more casual so I went in to check that out and when I put the damier bin on me I felt uh, not sure you know I wasn't sure so I had that and and then I sewed this handbag next to it and also this is a funny story but I sewed this exact bag in the monogram print I don't know if you guys can do but I sewed that like five ladies wearing them in Hawaii uh, a while back and then in Tampa also I saw three ladies wearing the exact bag actually in the in the print that I chose this time and yeah, I saw them and every time I saw the uh, the woman wearing this handbag, I felt like, oh, it's really cute. Looks very functional, very chic, love that look, but I've never thought of getting this one in this size. Uh, you guys will see it in a minute and Jerusha, you know it, oh my girl. I sent her a picture of it and I was like look what I'm looking at anyways we were chatting about it and she was like oh my god you know okay so she knows what I got actually and um, so should I reveal you guys uh, will kind of go like what? anyways here it is I saw this exact one in Tampa and I wasn't gonna go for it I was gonna wait and see because you guys know that I made entire handbag collection already for 2015 so I shouldn't buy any I didn't plan on it but it's made in France so that kind of just you know just made my mind uh, right away but the SA who was helping me in that store wasn't really helpful at all actually I don't know why but just looking at me you know like and I was just the one only trying it on it was right there so so I felt like, you know, I have my preferred uh, essay, Julini, in Jacksonville. So I called her to get this for me in that store. So she did that. So that's why it took a while. Here it is. And yeah, 
you will see. And I got the drawstring dust bag. I didn't even ask, but Julini did it, and she's just awesome. And here is the reveal. Ta da! <laughs> so, this is a cutie pie. Uh, this is a Speedy, size 25. Bandelier, you can see Bandelier and Damien Bain, which is my favorite. Uh, you guys know that I sold my 30, Speedy 30 Damien Bain, uh, the Bandelier, and because I have, I got the Retiro, and I just felt like I have, you know, number of bags that I felt like I should select one and get the one because I don't want handbags to compete each other for me to use and uh, anyways it is a quite long story uh, to tell but every time I looked at the tag uh, right here a luggage tag that was attached on my uh, Speedy 30 every time I look at it I kind of missed it you know but yeah anyways whenever I saw this on the uh, the how many girls that I saw <laughs> in Hawaii and Tampa I kept thinking Wow, that bag looks very, very functional. I need that kind of size right now uh, with my little boy. And this is just worry-free. And the size, you know, before when I had my Ampron 25 bandolier, the shoulder strap was very, very heavy for me. And it was keep bumping into everything around me. I just didn't care for it. And at that time, I was carrying a lot of stuff. Uh, and I felt like it was too small, but now that I kind of made everything kind of uh, compact, so I don't really carry too much, but I carry just a little bit of my things and for my son, and I wanted to carry a bottle of water and just a, a little, you know, t-shirt for my son. Uh, you know, things like just little small things that wouldn't fit into like push tees or favorite or uh, the small handbags that I have that I can carry day to day uh, for a casual outfit, you know. But so this, it fits everything that I want and need. Just very, very cute. So I wore this yesterday right away. Um, so, oh, let me put this on. I'm gonna put this on right here. I am very, very happy uh, with this and I just adore it. I was thinking, even if I see this in that store, I wasn't thinking of getting right then, but it is made in France. I mean, I live in the US and you really don't expect to get this speedy or never full made in, in the France because they're all normally made in the USA. So when I saw this, I was like, this is the bag. I need to go for it. So how cute is that? I love it so much. And I did complain before about how small the opening of this handbag is. But you know what? Things change. Uh, your opinion changes. It is still small. But when I carry this handbag, I can just, you know, put things not full-size wallet, I guess, but you can still really see things and it can be secure. I mean, things change, right? So I do really love it, even though it is pretty, you know, like small and tight fit to put things in. I have small things to put in here, so I am totally okay with it. And second problem that I had with the 30, so I put the uh, base shaper but for this one you don't have to put the base shaper um, when you have things like whatever I carry inside here because I tried it on uh, at that time and it doesn't sag even I mean it looks a little saggy on the bottom when you have things inside but the more stuff that you have in here the more it looks more like you know not sagging on the bottom so 25 <laughs> let me show you guys quickly how it looks uh it's just so so um casual and very gray size 25 just looks like that i'm 5'4 and 
yesterday when I was when I went to park I wore this with my son I was holding his kept crying he just wanted me to hold it I just took this in and put this on like so and I had everything in here and it was so easy for me to just grab and use and I don't have to worry about Bashira leather there's nothing to worry about this handbag so I was holding my son and I could hold everything and it didn't really sag on the bottom love that so this is my purchase uh, from Louis Vuitton and very cute love that happy 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 to have speedy yeah classic stays classic right yeah love it thank you so much for watching and i'll be still loving this handbag i'll use it today again so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll get back with you uh with another video have a wonderful day bye bye guys